One of the principles of conscious creation is the principle of action. A lot of teachers desire to say that no action is needed, and here's what I'd counter. There's no way not to have action. There are two types of action. There is masculine action and feminine action. Masculine action is going for it, it's attacking, it's planting the seed, it's going, it's being in movement. Whereas feminine action is nurturing, it's resting, it's looking after yourself, but I believe they're both actions. As we move through time and space, we're always acting. There is no way to not act. And so when you hear me say the statement that there is always action to take but nothing to do, that is because there's simply no way not to be taking an action. I, I remember working with a mentor once and a, a group of the students, we were learning wizardry and alchemy and, and the students got ran out of gas on the way to the, the event. And so what they did is they were outside the, the car and they were waiting and they were broken down on the side of the road and, and they were tuning into the field, trying to increase the size of the gas molecules that were still in the gas tank, trying to increase this petrol. And so that's what they were attempting to do is, is how do we leave the consciousness of our body, get into the consciousness of the, the petrol molecules and expand them and, and make them happen. Now, while they were doing this, uh, many people stopped and asked, you know, would you like a, a ride to, to come and get, uh, you know, fill up your tank? They said, no, 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 we're going to make it happen. Now, eventually they got their car started, but it would have been a lot faster and easier for them to just get some help and, and go to the, to the gas station and get the petrol and fill up the car. And, and I think that that's such an interesting thing to think about. It reminds me of, uh, you know, the, the man who was, uh, was in a great flood and, uh, you know, so he, he's all worried. So he climbs to the top of his church and the flood waters just keep rising and rising and rising. So he's standing on the top of his church and someone comes by on a kayak, says, hey, can I help you? He says, no, God's going to save me. And so then the, the next person uh, comes across in a speedboat, says, you really got to get out here. The flood waters are coming up. No, no, God's going to save me. And so he's there and like literally there's only a tiny bit left of the, the roof. And, you know, like the, the helicopter comes and they drop a ladder. They say, look, you got to get here. He says, no, 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 God's going to save me. So then this man drowns obviously. Obviously, and he, he goes up to heaven and he's there with God. He says, you know, I trust in you. I, I needed your help. Like, what, you know, what happened? You weren't there for me in my time of need. And God looks at him and says, I sent you a man on a kayak. I sent you a man in a boat. I sent you a freaking helicopter. What more do you want? See, a lot of times there's an obvious action to take and we must be able to take that action not knowing or trying to have some other way to do it. If you're thirsty and there is a glass of water in front of you and you're thirsty and there's water, it's an obvious action to take. Now, this is something that a lot of us can get confused about. There is always an action to take. In fact, you need to be taking an action and staying in momentum. It's how the next principle, attraction, works. You must be moving. In fact, you are always in action. There is masculine action and feminine action, but there's only ever one obvious action to get you to the next point. To finish this, Everything in the universe moves by a diagonal action. So if I was to, to draw how the universe works, you would understand that, that everything is spinning, right? Everything is spinning. As above, so below, everything is spinning. And so if something's gonna move from point A to point B, it makes sense that it's gonna spin. The only way for us to draw the spin is in the wave, but this is still a spin as it moves. Now this is what you must understand, is all action is always diagonal action. It can never be a straight line because nothing in the universe works in a straight line. In fact, you're vibrating, you're spinning right now. So the first principle is action. There is always an obvious action to take. And just like when a plane is flying from one destination to another destination, it is off course most of the time and course correcting. This is why you always got to take an action because you'll either know, did that action get me closer or further away? And you can course correct, course correct, course correct. If you prefer to just stay in feminine action and just rest the whole time, or if you're always trying to know, no, no the right way, you can get lost. There is an obvious action. It can be masculine or it can be feminine, but there's always an action to take. Hope you enjoyed it. 
I'll see you on the next principle.